Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 12 of Sky Capsule Project, a mod pack by the Mediocre Modders. Well, in the last episode, we unlocked tier 3 resource, and the reason my views here and not on the tier 3 resources per se, is that I basically did tier 3 resource, then finished Botania, and made a lot of new seeds. So we now have aluminum seeds, spurted seed, nitro seed, we had that one already, uranite seed, emerald seed, uranium seed, platinum seed, osmium seed, and we also have terra steel and elementium that are placed back there. Now, like the last episode, we're going to start with some upgrade. So let's just grab a couple of those, a couple of the spirited crystal essence. This Oh, and this one is 941, uh, nine, whereas the other one was 84. Like, each level is a bit more expensive. Not the end of the world, not a problem. Like, you see, uh, with the mark po uh, the pots now, things go really fast. And those are not even the highest level pots, by the way. Okay, just a bit more. Let's just see how this is going. I'm going to produce just as much as I can for now and yeah that's going to be enough of those okay so we're going to grab one of these blazing rods and we're going to go back here and this is low this is low this I don't care about anymore this is good uh large capacitor oh, those are tiny those are basic oh not a lot of hard so you know what let's let's just clean up a little bit I'll come right here and go uh, dielectric, grab two stacks, oh, two stacks of this, eight stack of this, a couple of stacks of this, and now we can show all of this in the system. Oh, I forgot the capacitors. So large. Eh, a couple of stacks and go like this. And then we can come here, and the first thing we need to do are these spirited cap capacitor. I'm going to make 64. And to upgrade the energizing rod, voila. So one energizing rod upgraded, which opens up the quest. And then we need to meet the higher tier battery. Uh, yeah, whew, they're here. Let me grab all of this. So higher tier battery, like this. And since we're here, let's also make a couple. Of... Good thing I have a lot of the spirited crystal because OMG, I did not want to upgrade that many cables. Okay, so then we need to go to the next tier. But before we do that, I'm going to need to meet... Uh, you know what? I'm going to do that in the time lapse. Because if you guys remember, I don't upgrade the Fernator during the episode. I upgrade the Fernator at the end of the episode. So I'm going to grab... Oh, I don't have Nether Stars right now. So Okay, these one, if you look, they require Nether Star. So let's see how many nether stars. I'm going to have to really up my nether star games because nether stars are expensive. It's 9 to 3 to a stack. So 9 stack times 3 because we need the nether star shard. Oh my god, that's, whew, that's expensive. Well, that hurts my brain, but it is what it is because I didn't produce more than that because I don't have enough power to power all of these pots. Yeah, exactly. This is like, even though they're upgraded to a niotic, um, you know what? I don't know if the problems, the power, oh no, they're all empty. So yeah, the problems, the quantity of power. I just put a bit too many pots. So what I'm going to do is grab four stack and I'm going to make, uh, because I want to keep some nether stars. That's not a lot though, but we'll see. Let's just come back right here and then we'll make the nitro into these nitro capacitor. I'm just going to make 32. I don't want the same uh, problem that I had before. So let's upgrade the ener energizing rod and voila. And oh, to upgrade the battery, I do need to pick that battery up. And it has 982,000. I don't know when you craft it if you lose that. We're going to see it in a moment. 
Oh, I need more of these, just two. And then if I go like this. Yeah, it deletes the power. I was expecting it, so it's not the end of the world, but it's just annoying. Haha. <laughs> and voila. Another chapter completed. So let's come down here and chapter request because uh chapter reward because this is the most epic reward ever. Although at this point we can probably craft it because of the pots, but if I come here to Mopawa, give me a reactor nitro. So I want to show I, I'm gonna put it here for now. Right click and voila, it builds itself. I wish more mod packs did the auto build thing. And while it's auto building, let's make a couple higher power energy cable. And yeah, 60 is going to be enough. And then let me get rid of all of this. I'm going to keep that and that. Perfect. And this we're going to put down right here. And we're going to go and connect. Oh. You know what I'm going to remove those that so the way this works is you can connect either but not two level of cables together I mean by either I mean I can extract with a lower cable here from the niotic uh, react uh, from the nitro reactor but I can't mix the two when I'm doing uh, I can't mix the two when I'm trying to have a conversation and talk words so I'm going to put this right here and an energy cell nitro right here, which I don't know why this connected, but it can't do anything. I'm just going to disconnect it for sure anyway. And this is going to be able to hold 140 million FE. Now we need to start this reactor. So this reactor is a bit complicated. It took me a little while to understand it. I now get it. So basically here we need carbon so for now, carbon. Uh, carbon is coal. Is the uh, coal is the best source of carbon, I believe. Let's grab blocks of coal, put that in there, and voila. Okay. Now here we need redstone, so let's grab some blocks of redstone and put that here right now. And then it needs uranite. So uranite. That's something that we started making right here. And let's go like this. And like this, put that back, and I think, yeah, and voila. So that's the uranite. And now we need a, so we got, it started generating power, but see it's doing 50 and it's going down because this is heating up. It needs a fluid. So we're going to grab an EMC link. We're going to grab some water. And we're going to grab a fluid pipe. Fluid pipe like this. And this is an input, so we'll do this like that. Set this to water. Oh, and do this. And now it's filled with water, so it's it's cooling, but it's burning through the uranite fairly fast. And I think that because of the heat, the heat's going down, but it's not going to be enough. And now we're generating 32, 33. We need something better. So right here, there's a last spot. Or solid coolant and if you remember a couple of episodes back I talked to you guys about blue ice we needed blue ice well if you look at blue ice I think we can put blue ice you know what let me just go can I put one blue ice as coolant yes minus 17 degree and now it's cooling and it's still using the urinite fairly quickly but it's cooling down and we went up to 55 K Fe per tick but the temperature keeps on going down. But this is not the most efficient coolant that I put in there. Now we're at 63, 64. So the lower the temperature, the higher power generation. If you look at blue ice and you right click, there is another level of transformation where in energizing, two blue ice make dry ice. And what says colder than dry ice? I don't know. I don't even know if it's really cooler. I just know that it's an upgrade, so let's do it. And now look at how, did you see how quick this is? And, oh, don't put, yeah, 
That's one two menu. Now we can go back here and put this here. So now it has to burn this bad coolant, unfortunately. But once this bad coolant is burned, it's going to use the dry ice. And if I come back, oh, this is already at 140 million FE. So this right now is producing 82K. I think it's going to go when once this is in the solid coolant. I think that it's going to go up to 86, I believe. It's just crazy. So powering these pot, let's be honest, it'll be a joke. Okay, so we'll need to figure out how to automate the blue ice. I seen something, so I know already how to automate it. And in my time lapse, which is something I'm going to do in my time lapse, I'm going to plug in a mark, uh, a couple of EMC link like this, and I'm going to pipe in coal redstone i'm gonna have a drawer to pipe the uranite and i'm gonna prepare a lot of uranite so basically just for now let me grab a drawer like this and let me grab a pipe the pipe is right here and do this and then go like this and put the uranite in here so that it's always it always stays full of uranite right now it's not we're not using the power so it's not going to be a big are we not nope oh this is not even full so we are using the power these cable are just not strong enough but it's like full we got 80 million power here and 140 million in the back and the coolant is slowly using then when we switch to dry ice oh we're at 87 k 86 like it's fluctuating ah <sighs> anyway okay so having this great reactor and this great battery doesn't mean that we have solved our problem of distributing power. Like I've made these right here and I, I have some cables on the ground and I have power over there. And I think it's time to get into Flux Network. So let's go into Flux Network. So along with Flux Dust, Flux Cores are essential to every craft in Flux Networks. You'll need quite a few of these eventually, as most recipe requires at least four flux cores. No, you'll need enderpearl for these core. If you haven't already done so, you should probably get working on that mob farm. Blaze can also be obtained from the dimensional resource generator in the nether, given you have a wither sc uh, skull on top of it. So new for the enderpearls, we have so... We have some very few here, but do I have ender pearls? Uh, ender seeds. So let's search for ender. Yeah, right here. I'm gonna grab one enderman seed, and I'm going to. Oh boy, you you know what? Right now, I really don't need that much platinum. So for now, I'm going to remove the seed, put it right here, and I'm going to grab an axe. Where's my axe right here and break this drawer. Hello, perfect. And just put it down here because I have temporary drawers all over the place now. It's not a problem. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. So upgrade, let's grab a couple of gold upgrade. Let's put that down right here. Put that seed in here and mass upgrade this so that we don't have any problems if we're overproducing not that we can ever overproduce okay we'll come back to this later for now how much is this going to give us we wait, wait, wait. what does this do oh no it's less forget that i was going to say we can make it directly but no it does give us less so now i'm going to look here at the blaze powder Oh, I don't have enough. You know what? Let me just grab some of these right here. I'll grab a stack of this. And since we have a crusher, and crusher gives us four at a time, let's show that in here. And we'll come back in a little moment. Let's grab our flux dust. Only 16, but that's a problem that we're going to solve really fast. So, if I come, do I have... No, I don't have any blaze powder, so I can't really continue. I need to grab some blaze powder, right? Already a stack. Wow. So let's come back right here. 
do this. And voila. And we're going to need some obsidian, I believe. Obsidian. Voila. And then I think it's like that. L30 recipe. Let's do it with the flux dust. With the flux dust, we want flux core. I'll make two craft only for now because we don't have a lot of flux dust. Okay, so that unlocks a quest. Um, next point. Now we have to craft three different things. We have to craft a flux plug, a flux controller, and a flux point. Let's start with the flux controller. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, before we go any further, these flux core, if you use these, so if you use these flux core, you can craft what's called a flux block, okay? We we can only make one now because we're out of flux dust. And with a flux block, you can craft with four plug uh, core around it, you can make a flux plug. Uh, let's go read the quest to explain what everything is instead of reading the definition here. Flux controllers are not actually required to create a network but they are required if you want wireless charging. We'd recommend you make one to use that sweet, sweet wireless charging. So I don't really know need it, but I need it. So I'm gonna make it. We need it for the quest anyway. Flux point. Flux, flux points are what sends energy to device. You can connect them straight to machine or to energy pipe of some kind. And flux plug are the energy acceptor of flux network. They bring power into the wireless network. You'll need at least one of these to get going. So we need more, uh, more flux dust. If you look at flux ducts, they you can use the bees, or you can use a runic altar, or you can use the creating flux. So basically, okay. Let's imagine uh, I'm gonna take a cobblestone, and I'm gonna grab some redstone. A lot of redstone. So I'm gonna put a cobblestone right here, okay? Let's imagine this is a a bedrock. And I put an obsidian here. I can go like this, throw some redstone, and hit it with my hand, and it would fall on and make flux. So we finished, we went to the end, we've killed the ender dragon. So technically, technically, we can go back to where the portal's on the ground and set up there. But I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intended. You can put a flux block here. And this only does eight stack at a time. So I just stand here, control Q, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I grab back some anyway. And then you hit with an empty end and voila. And now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, like because I was too close and I grabbed some again. But we can do this and rinse and repeat. So control one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do this and come back. Put this again. One, two, three, four, five. Back away. And do this. Oh. Okay, so now I didn't put eight stack, so the obsidian didn't completely get destroyed. So usually I all I recommend to always put eight stack because I had forgotten about this and breaking the obsidian, as you can see, is a bit painful. Okay, so now that we have so much flux dust, I don't mind making all of my flux dust into flux core. Oh, I'm missing obsidian this time. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of whatever I don't need. And let's go obsidian. And make some more. And still need more obsidian. You know what? Let's grab two stacks. Three stacks? Okay. Three stacks. Good. So let's do this and grab all of this. Perfect. So now we've made everything that we could. Let me just come back here. I just want to make a little bit of space. Let's get rid of things that I really don't need. Perfect. Okay, so now, technically, we should be able, let's grab some more. No, we have obsidian, so that's not a problem. So from the flux core, it, we can make more flux block. And you know what? I'm going to make only half 
because I want to be able to craft other things. So with one flux block, four of these around, we get a flux block. Now if I look at redstone, and I use redstone, I know the recipe by heart, but basically flux block, flux point. So flux point gives you energy, flux block recharges the network. And where's the other thing? The flux controller, like this. Only one's required. So we're going to set that up. Whoa. Nope. I guess I left a point not protected. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it gave me a TNT and I've learned TNT. Well, great. Okay, so I'll put that right here in the middle of the space. Flux controller. So I'm going to create a, create a network. I'm going to call it Xedra. Xedra's network, no password. I like green, so I'm going to use green. And I don't, I want it private, but no password. So create and voila. I'm going to say surge mode on, disable limit, and chunk load. So now we have this flux controller. Uh, you know what? Let's just claim the two quests. So this is done, this is done, this is done. Now basic flux storage. There's no description, but this is kind of a battery, which will let me uh, uh, keep a million FE. So let's come back right here, grab some glass, plane, glass panes, and go... Where is it? It's this one right here. So one. What am I missing? So let's do four more. And then let's make some more flux block. So I don't want to use all of my stuff, but let's make 24. And then like this. Oh, I need more veins, which means I need more glass. Make some more panes. 16 should be enough for now. And let's make two more. So that's six. Why six? Well, this is one of these fun thing where one is made of the other is made of the other. Herculean flux storage. It takes six basic and it's going to go from one to eight. So you basically gain two million by doing that. So now I'm going to grab these six and make one bigger one and i'm going to stop here although in a future time lapse i'm going to prepare more flux dust more flux core and whatnot and i'm going to make this into the next tier so if i look at this there's only one tier left and that tier is called gargantuan and it has 128 million so less than the battery back there but i'm going to put that down right here and that also can be anywhere. It doesn't need to be connected, I believe. And now let's go back here. And this battery, which is full, and this thing that's also full, I'm going to put a flux plug on top. This flux plug, I'm going to say Excedra's network, surge mode, disable limit, chunk loading. And if I go back here now, ah, I need to select the network of the battery and voila this is now charging oh it's already charged so the disable uh the disable limit like it just took 80 million from that it's already full again wow okay so now let me show you something else and that's the important point these are the best energy cable. And right now, I'm holding all of this charge, but not this last one. And it is connected, but it's just that I'm running out of power. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Altamine this and grab all of these cable. And then I'm going to put the Nitro cable, by the way, can bring 200K like this. Oh. Perfect, all of these are powered but they're not connected to the Fernator, right? Okay, not for now. Right now, I'm going to take a flux point that I'm gonna put on top right here and let's just empty, 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 right? Everything's empty, flux point, select a network, Cedra's network, 
boom, boom, boom. Right now, we're burning minus 30K, and look at this. Full, 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 and full. That's what I call an energy upgrade. And now this is slowly going down and back up and down and back up, which means, oh, and now we're, no, we're still not on the dry ice, which means that we now really have no more power problem. Well, I say that, but things are going to start getting expensive really fast. One other thing I want to show you, I want to complete, let me just come back. Right here, what's the nether star situation? Oh, yes, sir. So we're already up a lot on the nether star. Let's just do this. And again. Hello. And. Mm, I would have preferred some clean stacks, but you know, I'll just do that. So that's 49 and then I can put that back in here and I'll put these two in here for now. Okay. So how many of these do I have? Plus the 32 here. I want to try something like this and like this. Oh yes. Okay. Guys, we're doing this. Let me come back right here. What am I searching for? one thing at a time so we're going to go in our network and we're going to grab a mark II pot if you look at the quest i'm going to be providing you some more information that i learned from the discord here it's 1500 fe for 16 times the help for 16 of whatever gets output this one is 3000 for 60 or the output so double the price in, uh, in energy, but quadruple the production. Then the Mark III, I, like, I kind of ignored the other pots. I just finished them in my test world to be able to complete them. And I was like, 64 to 128, that's double. 3K to 6K, that's double. So I can put two Power Pot Mark II for one Power Pot Mark III. And the Power Pot Mark III, unfortunately, are not um they're not emcable so i was like eh, why would i do that so let's do it and let let me show you why in a second so i'm gonna need two compressed blaze blocks so one oh nope one two you know what let's grab four depending on how much uh oh no we're not gonna have enough nether star Let's grab some nether, uh, emerald essence right here and let's make some emeralds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This. And then, like this, we need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And let's go. We're going to craft the Mark III now. And the Mark III. Okay. And then. We're going to, again, upgrade one more and go from a Mark III to a Mark IV. And based on what I just said, like I had said... I thought that just crafting the extra level was a waste of time because 128 to 256 and 6,000 to 12,000, I was like, what, what's the point? It's like... I'm not, I can EMC those and spam those, but there's something that I really did not know. So now let's go back. We'll grab another pot right here. Uh, yeah, a pot mark too. And do we have enough to make another one? I believe so. Uh, nope. I want to craft this. Yeah, I have enough. This, this, the two compressed, and nope, not the Nether Star block, the Mark II. And then we're going to grab two drawers, drawers, uh, this one, one, two, and some upgrades because we're going to need them. Upgrades. And we're going to put these down here and here for now. We're going to put a Mark IV there and a Mark III there. Max upgrade these two. 
I think it's time that I make the diamond upgrades also. Anyway, I'm going to go down and grab two. Uh, I'm going to go down and grab two Insanium Essence. Uh, the reason I want the Insanium Essence, well, oh no, it, I was going to say they're faster, but I'm going to be doing Nether Star and I don't really have a choice. Nether Star only work on the Insanium. So I'm going to grab this farmland and do this and do this to Insanium. And then I'm going to grab, nope, not these, two Nether Star Seed. Set up this one, this one, seed and seed. See, they're not growing. We're going to grab the better cable right here. Like this and like this. And now, ooh, I need an extra point. So I'm going to be making in my time lapse some of these points. I'm probably going to make like 10 of them, 20, 50, 60. I don't know. I'm going to make a lot because I want to be able to set up power whenever I want, wherever I want, just that easily. Let's grab these. Oh, I could make exactly five. So flux point. And now the beauty of this is that I'm putting the flux point right here. Okay. And now these have not started because they haven't received power yet. So I'm going to go this, 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 and select the network. And voila. And now they're receiving power. Look at this. 5%, 15%, 9%, 24%. There's a multiplication factor in the speed that these things operate, which means that spamming for Mark II does not equal this. So basically, I set up a drawer that was getting the results of four Mark II one drawer that was getting the result from two mark two so that i could compare with the third and with the fourth and it's just crazy this will outproduce this outproduce the mark three and the four mark twos together if i remember correctly so yeah already four stacks right here four well sorry we got our first 128 so this is two stacks and we've got eight already here so the, in the time it took to make two stacks, this made eight. So yeah, it's not equal. It's not the same. And this is way, way, way better. Like, no questions asked better. Yes, it is that better. Okay. So time for another little something. Uh, let's come back here, do this, grab this, and I just need two more. Uh, no, four more. Perfect. Now I need some more nether stars, and here I got those stacks. Oh, see, that was at six stack. If I come back here, that's already at 12 stack. Let's do this and do some crafting. Uh, oof, okay, it worked. I, I don't like throwing things on the ground, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And put that back right here, and I should grab the small one right here. Uh, basically, oh, I'm trying to see if I can make another Mark III. Oh, bear, nope, not enough. Okay, so at least let's make the Mark II for now. I think that by the time I come back, we'll be able to. Yeah, yes, it's that crazy. Let's grab two of these and let's grab a Mark II. I know that I have a Mark III back there that I could upgrade, but I just want to let them continue a little bit so that we can look at them a bit later. So let's make a Mark III. And let's come back here. Already eight more stack. And this one, two more stack. Let's do this. And this. And oh, yes. And we already have, just because of this Mark IV, we already have enough to do this. Okay. So let's come back right here and grab another drawer. And let's grab some. Uh, let's grab some 
Hmm. Can I complete a sentence, please? I I would like to buy a vowel. Um, upgrades. Perfect. So I'm going to put that down right here and put this on top like so. Upgrade this to the max. Connect this one. And oh, I need another uh, Insanium farmland. Like, I'm trying not to make too many um, farmland. Uh, sorry, not to grab too many because I'm not finished with crafting the seeds. So I don't want to risk running out. That being said, uh, I'm going to rip out that field pretty soon. So let me come back here. I need one farmland. Like so. And then we can go farmland with Inferium Essence. Insanium Essence, sorry. Put that right here. And I'm going to grab one Dragon Egg Seed and put it here. And the reason I want to do this is I'm going to show you something. I set it up here because I wanted to show it already. I have 38 stacks. Uh, you know what? Let me just show all of these things in my bag. This too, this too. These upgrades, I can throw weight. Perfect. So now I should be able... I'm going to drop all of these stack on the ground and I'm going to grab... So we said 38 stack and that's been running since my time lapse in the last episode, right? So what does... 38 stack gives me that's another one like the nether star where you craft it into dragon egg chunks like so and i have two left that i'm going to put back here and then you craft the dragon egg chunk into dragon egg and look at this uh, next you're at 16 million and 6 million. So I'm at 169, vroom, 192. This is the next EMC level. And in the time that we talked about this, in the time that we talked about this, it made 12 stacks. So if I come back here and I grab these 12 stacks now, and I do the same operation again, and like this, in the time that we had the conversation showing you, we made another 7 million. So what I'm going to do in my time lapse is I'm going to redline this reactor. You know what? Let me check something quickly with you. Uh, no, one second. So in my time lapse, I'm going to just make a setup for EMC generation. And I would like to double this reactor. Okay. So it's time to do something that we should have done a while ago. I had not seen that it was in the pack, but it is in the pack. So, ah, I hit escape by mistake. Okay, so what is in the pack? Well, if you guys watched the, uh, the compact claustrophobia series, here's the crafting calculator. Let's go right here and let's grab some iron. Iron. Redstone, black dye. Oh, really? I don't have black dye? <laughs> okay, that's, that's, wow. Let's just come right here and right, uh, where is it? See, like, there's just so many things here. Here, let's grab one, two, three. Come back down here. And this, nope, these are the mystical flower one. Those are not the die one. Where's the die one? Oh, come on. Azal, Ender, Biotite. Uh, you know what? <laughs> one, two, three. Let's just grab the squid essence. And the squid essence will let... I need to do it like this, really? And the squid essence is black dye and is emc a bowl so now i can do this and say squid oh no ink sack sorry one and then we just need the stones uh right here one two three four five six and we should be able to craft this oh no it it are you kidding me oh okay sorry it does craft into a black dye so we're good. So now we have the calculator. 
I want to calculate the retro reactor nitro. So let's come here at up power. And basically what we want is the reactor nitro. Okay. So let's make a new recipe for four reactor nitro like this. Save new recipe. This was made from Oh, we can make them straight for oh yes okay i also need a recipe oh. sorry i Arr. new recipe this nitro capacitor and safe and we really don't need anything else yeah perfect and we're going to say i need 36 of these so is that the real thing just let me check R. So this makes four. So one makes four. Hmm. This is there a problem with the recipe? Oh no, sorry. Yeah, it does make four. Okay, so look at how cheap this is. 144 nitro crystal, 36 uranite, and nine dielectric casing. Let's come back right here. I think we have everything we need. So, um, sorry, let me go back to the calculator. Uh, 36 basic capacitor. So 30, I only have 30. I'm going to grab some more. Those are the large. I'm going to grab, I don't want to grab more because I don't want to overcraft it. So I'm going to grab just the six that I need. So like this. <laughs> there were more in this system. Oh. Well, wouldn't be a great episode without a couple of derps. So now we're going to come back here. And we're going to make some more nether stars. And thank God we set that up just before. Because that would have been painful. But like this is how things are becoming nice now. So like this and nether star and like this more nether star and let's just put this in here and these in here. And now I can grab one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, just four. And we can make this much nitro crystal, which is way too much, but now that I have I basically have infinite nether star now, so it's not like I care all that much. I need uranite, which I kind of forgot. We're going to come back. Uh, you know what? Let's make some more. Oh, I'm also going to need uh, 210. Okay. I was going to say I'm also going to need to put the uranite in a better pot, but you know what? I, I don't think that it matters for now. Let's just grab this and some more and some more. Oh. And we can come back here. And now we can do this. And voila, one other reactor. And two more reactor. So now if I come here and I grab these, can I put them one on top of the other? What do you mean not enough block? You know what? I'm just going to set it up here in case. What am I missing? Okay, so let's stop. Let's go. I think that it's bugging because, oh, you need to have them in a stack. So, yes, you can stack them. So that's a second reactor. And that's a third reactor. <laughs> so as you can see, power is no longer a problem. I really need to automate those though. But now I have infinite power because I can basically make a stack of reactor. I could create a room with 10, 20 of those. Like for now, I'm just going to craft as many as I need, but
that's you know what i said i was going to upgrade these tornader but i'm not going to upgrade them i'm going to retire them i'm just going to get rid of all of this and put them in a chest somewhere for later and this is what i'm going to be concentrating on but now i'm going to do a little something else there are some resources that I want to auto craft with tier three crafter, but those are things I'm going to do in time lapses. Like I'm going to for sure, like dragon eggs, I don't really need all that much. No, dragon eggs are EMCable. So that I'm going to auto craft and directly throw in the system. Then I'm going to set up auto crafting for all of these other resources and some like, let's take osmium. I'm not going to need that much osmium. So osmium, I'm probably going to leave on a power pot mark two, and I'm going to auto craft into a drawer and the enderman, uh, the ender pearl, same thing into a drawer. Like I'm going to automate all of these things with auto crafter in lines to go into a drawer, but this I'm going to make it so that I can put four five, six in a row if I want so that if I need to expand because I need more nether star, it won't be a problem. But basically in my time lapse, I'm going to be setting up a ton of auto crafting. Okay. And I'm going to make sure to connect these two and I'm going to prepare everything. I'm probably going to make a little bit of dry ice to make sure that my three reactor works well, but uh, manually, and I'm going to upgrade all of these, these at least I'm going to upgrade. And since I have a uh, power, that's wireless. I'm going to make sure that this is set up in a place somewhere else that's less disturbing. Well, less in the middle of the space. Uh, so take care of this. Power the three reactor. And like I say, when I say power, I mean, I'm also on the side going to put a auto input for auto input of block of coal, auto input of block of redstone, auto input of uranite from a drawer and auto input of dry ice from a drawer and that drawer we're going to fill you know what hmm no 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 ender chest time so if i come here uh at ender chest like this i'm going to craft four of these ender chests i know they're expensive but i'm going to craft four i'm going to set one to uh, blue 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 and one to green 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 One's going to be to contain the uranite and the other one's going to be to contain the dry ice because I don't know where I'm going to make my setup and I don't want to have to drag the uranite from one place to another and the dry ice from one place to another. So I'm just going to be able to like, just show you quickly if I grab one, two, three EMC link like this, I'm going to, hmm, what's, what's on this side? The water. Okay, so first off, uh, fluid pipe, and then pipe is these one, and then I'm going to grab a wrench. So if I go like this, perfect. So now this should be putting water in all three reactor, full of water, and full of water. Perfect. And yeah, I didn't want to, but I'm going to disconnect this for now because I'm going to move it anyway. And I'm going to go and just do the same. Uh, I don't like when they're touching the reactor on every spot. So even though it's a bit of a waste of time, I'm just going to make sure to do this where it's not required. And then we're going to go oh, one, two, and three. Uh, I don't even know that I need three. So block of coal, block of redstone. Oh yes, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back here. I'm gonna remove the dry ice that we haven't used yet. Like, it seems to be working semi well without the dry ice. For So for now, I'm going to use the blue ice. And the only reason I'm going to use the blue ice is that I can do this. I'm gonna go set up this to coal, set up this to redstone up this to blue ice and now just set those to export 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 and i don't know which one it's going to start with but yeah it started with this one so this will never consume as fast as uh it will never consume as fast as uh we're producing it even with the little mark one because 
it like there's still a, a certain speed level that it goes i'm gonna put that right here and extract from this drawer and i only have two stacks of uranite so i'm gonna come back here and i'm going to grab all of this uranite and put it right here and now if we go back here yeah so this one is filled and this well it's not filled but then this one will and this one will so at some point it's you don't have to worry it's all going to stabilize and what i'm going to do is i think i'm going to craft a battery like this an energy cell nitro and put an energy cell nitro at the back of every um of everyone so energy cell nitro is there an easier recipe though or is it the same no it's it's the multi-tier i'm not sure that until i have auto crafting i'm not sure that i want to do that so i'll probably just put like if i come back here and i look at my inventory can i grab this 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 if i come back oh no so now i need ender pearls yeah but that's not a problem because guess what we did a bit earlier in the episode yeah we did that so ender pearls <laughs> did i show them off the ledge no okay i kind of forgot that they were in 16 and now i need to come here i should have more of this ready yeah let's come back here i don't know why i'm doing this i know i have my end health crafting i just always forget for whatever reason i'm gonna get try and get used to it but sometimes i just feel like moving from left to right and i kind of forget that i'm doing that so let's do this and this and this and this great so oh and now yeah, i have more flux dust and then I can grab some more obsidian. And then I can make some more flux blocks. Uh, oh no, that's not what I want to do. What am I doing? Stop it. Stop it. Oh yes, I need flux block to put this around. Because I need some more flux plug. So I'm just going to make two. Because I made two reactor. And then I can come back right here. I can connect this. And this and put them both on the same network with no limit and on the same network with no limit so now technically we have the capacity of charging 86 plus 86 plus 86 we have the ability of charging 8 16 24 250,000 K per tick and by the way they're now all full and they're going to stay all full the moment I fix the uranite production. So really now, there's no, like, I, I like also this. See, this is consuming 30 F8, Fe per tick, okay? And this point here is consuming, oh no, the whole network is consuming minus 30. Why is it minus 30? Yeah, no, everything's stable. I'm not losing power anywhere not quite sure why it's saying minus 30 i thought that each point would say how much they're using i know this uh, i know what are is this using this is 12 sorry so 12 24 uh plus 6 30 yeah this side should be using 30 and this one oh because it's 10 times 3 oh boy sometimes sometimes boys i swear i'm just I'm going to take one second and remove this one. And now if I look at this, yeah, it's using 27. Okay, so that's the beauty that I was trying to say. Each flux point tells you how much you're using in that flux point. So we are done with the pipe is energy. We're now going to be using these cable everywhere, these nitro cable everywhere, because I believe that they are the one that has the highest energy output. Uh, right here 200k fe per tick so we're going to be using that everywhere and we're just going to make sure that we never overload it but basically i want to dedicate one of this reactor like the whole 80,000 uh fe per tick 
to production of Nether, uh, not Nether Star, but Ender Dragon, a uh, Dragon Essence, and automate it to EMC. So we should be able to start like instead of going up by plus seventy three thousand every five or seven second, we're just going to be able to always constantly be going up a crazy amount. I'm even curious to try other resource, but no, I think the Dragon Egg is going to produce more EMC than any other diamond or whatnot. You know what? I'm not 100% sure. I might try to make one with diamonds so also just to see because it's easy to switch the seeds anyway. But now I'm going to go in my time lapse and I'm going to clean that up. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to retire it. I'm going to upgrade all of those and move them somewhere else. And I'm going to automate, start automating the productions of a couple of things. And I'm going to expand the island because in the next episode, we're going to get started on the beast. Well, we're going to start with automating the, uh, the dry ice. Um, do I even want to bother with the dry ice? I'm going to go from 80 to 86 and it's not, no, I'm not going to bother with the dry ice. It, it's something that's kind of nice, but it's not something that matters a lot. Like this one is doing, this one is doing 88k right now. I don't even know that the dry ice will do better. So in my time lapse, like I said, I'm going to make the highland bigger and I'm going to start setting up like a chain of production of resource. But if you guys remember, I always said that my production of resource was on this side. So all of this that I put here, I'm going to retire. I'm just going to start creating production of resources on the other side. And I'm just going to make sure that they, they go into a drawer wall system like that, because we're coming close. Like we're going to start the bees because I want to start accruing what we need for the bees. The bees are going to take a long time. But after the B episode, we're going to do an episode on uh, applied energistic. So I'm going to make sure also in my time lapse that we're mass producing uh, nether quartz, silicon, and quartz enriched iron. Because the idea is that when we get, like, here's what I want to be able to do. I want to get to refined storage and I want to be able to set up the network in one episode. And then in my time lapse, create all of the crafting recipes for all of these things so that the episode after we can set up a crafter together and just say give me a give me a 148 million storage part and just let it go grabbing from all of the drawers that i've produced Whew, what an episode you know what this is really the epic part of the episode so i'm going to end here so you see the mark four on the bottom right uh, bottom left and you see the three reactor one on top of the other and if we run out of power you saw how easy it was to craft another reactor we could add a fourth one a fifth one an eighth one and you know what i think i'm going to leave the reactor there even though it's in the middle of the place and i'm just going to continue going up if we need more reactor i'm going to add another one and another one and another one just as many as we need and it, we're going to make it look crazy so guys Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!